Are you interested in the science behind agriculture and fascinated by technology? Do you see yourself working at improving farm machinery, creating dams, designing new farming systems and processes that could improve agricultural output? Well, the fascinating job of the agricultural engineer could well be for you. Welcome to 48 Hours, the show that brings the world of careers closer to you. I am 17 years of age and I'm doing grade 12 at Riyashima Secondary School. My favorite subjects are physical sciences and mathematics and also geography. My career interest is agricultural engineering simply because I'm in love with nature and I would like to get more involved into the cultivation of plants. With 48 hours, I'm hoping to gain more insights into the field of agricultural engineering. My name is Tendai Justin Mutenje, 36 years of age. I'm the Chief Engineer for Luriwe Consulting, Agricultural Engineer. Hi, my name is Gugule Simbali Mutenje. Nice to meet you, Gugu. You can take a seat. Thank you. I'll be your mentor of the day. I presume you have a number of questions for me. Yes, uh, firstly, I'd like to know that how did you get into this career? You know, there are two things which I'm passionate about. The first thing is, um, mentoring young students and mentoring those technical experts who are getting into, in the, into an industry. And the other thing is to have productive, a non-productive land being productive. So being a chief engineer in agricultural engineering saves both. So that's why I actually wanted to get into this industry. So what excites you about this career? You know, seeing the fruits of uh, what you invest in actually ripening, having a candidate engineer being registered as a professional engineer, and also seeing an infrastructure coming from a forest into somewhere where people can do production activities is something that I really am yeah, excited in having or achieving. What did you study in order to get into agricultural engineering? First and foremost, in high school, I did sciences, where I focused on math mathematics, physics, and um, geography and I also did chemistry on the side. And then after that, I did my first degree, which was in Bachelor of Science Honors in Agricultural Engineering. The courses that you, you focus on when you are in Agricultural Engineering, first, you undertake engineering concepts from first year to second year. And then after that, you have a feel of agriculture. Now that's where you go into the farm planning, zoning, irrigation, water, mechanization, soil conservation. Those are the courses that you specialize in. And then after that, I did my master's in agricultural engineering from the University of KwaZulu Natal. And for you to have a master's in agricultural engineering or to enroll for a master's, you must have obtained at least a 2.1 qualification or classification in your first degree. And then in that master's degree, that's where you do modules now, where you specialize in the area that you really want to focus on. In the first degree, you would have just understood the basic concepts of engineering, and then from there, that first degree, now you go to specialization. Okay, I've understood all the areas of agriculture engineering, which are irrigation and drainage, farm structures, planning and designing, mechanization, renewable energy, soil and water conservation. So in those five areas, you now say, I have understood this concept, I want to follow. For example, in my case, I followed farm structures and livestock environment where I now had to design infrastructure which are related to housing of livestock. Agricultural engineers need to analyze agricultural operations and apply technology and systems to increase yields, improve land use and save resources like seeds, water, fertilizers, pesticides and fuel. To do this, they need a wide range of knowledge. 
Areas of specialization in agricultural engineering include water supply and irrigation, agricultural mechanization, soil conservation, and food and fiber processing. What exactly does an agricultural engineer do? Let's take for an example, to give you a practical example. Let's say the department has identified a rural community. In that rural community, they want to develop agricultural infrastructure for all that land which is non-productive to be productive. So the duty of the agricultural engineer is to apply the engineering concept that they have understood, combining them with agriculture production, and then they plan, design, and assist in the development of the infrastructure. So what personality should one have in order to succeed in this industry? Agricultural engineering is not uh, uh, an easy task to do if you are um, not focused. You need to be focused, that's the first thing, and you need to be dedicated because you'll be working for long hours. And in most cases, you'll find out that this requires you to be out of um, the office and out of uh, your home area. You must be an independent thinker and uh, quick to resolve um, your mind in situations where it is a little bit complex. So you need to be creative, innovative, quick thinker, and independent to be able to work alone together in the forest with no or minimum supervision. What keeps you going? You know, the, the idea that whatever you plant, it's like a farmer. When you plant your seeds into the ground and you see that seed growing, that's what keeps me going. If I design an infrastructure and I go out there, I see a farmer who was struggling with no infrastructure, with no development, with no production. And you see them after you have given them the service. They are productive, they are profitable, they are able to raise their families, make a living, send kids to school. That's what keeps me going. What is important to remember regarding this career? What you need to remember in this career as an agriculture engineer, you need to remember what are your motives, what has been the key driver for you to be in this industry. That is the key thing, because it will guide you on which areas you need to focus on. Thank you very much. Uh, can I now see some of the practical work that you guys do? Sure, let's go. A branch of agricultural engineering involves developing biofuels from algae and agri-waste. Biofuels that make use of non-food substances can economically replace conventional fuels without threatening our food supply. So what has happened now is the survey has gone to site and has uh, produced the terrain plan as it is. So what you do now as the engineer, the old school way of doing it is you will do your planning and designing on here. And then the new school is you just take this information, you superimpose it into your software, and then you start doing the drafting. So as our client has highlighted, they want a cattle feed lot. So you start off from your design to say, if I want 500 animals, in here. It means each and every animal it requires 50 liters of water. So you do the calculation to say if I have 500 animals and I need 50 liters of water, how many 10,000 liter tanks do I need? So let's start with that competition first and then we start doing the placements of the reservoirs of water. So here's our calculator. 500 animals in total okay. and then multiply by 50 liters or each every day. Okay. It means we need how many? How 25,000. So we need 25,000 of our water per inch every single day. So 25,000, for you to have three days water supply, how much do you need? You need 75,000. So if you're going to use 10,000 liters tank, how many 10,000 liters tank do you need here? You're going to need seven and a half. Seven and a half, which is maybe eight. eight. So what you do now, you do sketches of the 
uh, the positioning of your storage tanks. So this is how you develop your plan. So in this case, you are saying, I want to design a road. How thick do you want? How, how wide do you want that road to be? Mm, so you specify. Because mm. I don't want it to occupy a lot of space. Yes, that's right. You see, that's that's the design component. So you label that. That is a whether five meters road or uh, six meters road. Now set so for five. For five meters. Then the next thing now you are saying, I want to bring in my animals. I need somewhere where I can offload them. So you don't necessarily have to do the nitty gritties of the design of the sketch, but you need to do the placement okay. of, and say, this is where I want to offload the animals. So you say, say that offload and handling. If you're going to offload the animals, it means you have to have somewhere where you can turn with the big trucks. So you cannot turn in your five meter wide road. So what you need to do? You need to create a zone where you can turn. This is where now the engineering component comes in. How wide or how, what is the radius of that? So you now refer to say, what is the turning circle of a track, which is this meters long? This is what your uh, holding area is going to be like. And then now remember what we said earlier on, we need this to slope down. So when it slopes down like that, we are supposed to have a canal at the bottom. So we need you to sketch a canal which collects all the manure water into some reservoirs or some storage area under the town. This is the job of the engineer. You do the designing because you know the standards, you know all the guidelines which are supposed to be followed, animal welfare guidelines, the space requirement guidelines. And then from here now, you take it to the draftsman. So the draftsman will interpret what you have written here. And then I'll show you now the, the new school of doing it onto your, your software. Let's go to the machine there. Aspiring agricultural engineers can consider enrolling for a four-year BSc Engineering Bachelor's degree. As is the case with other fields in engineering, the completion of the degree and a minimum of three years in-service training leads to registration as a professional engineer. This is where now you put all this design and sketch that you have done here. So we'll start off first with um, the water tanks, which are these water tanks that you have highlighted. We'll put them in there. And now in this case, you are drawing them to scale, which means you are drawing them exactly as they are. If this tank from the standard, now you know that the tank is supposed to be two meters wide by 2.5 meters high. So you now draw a circle, which is 2.5 meters, which is what you need to do now. So that's how you produce all that. So in the end, if you go now to the layout, so you are working in the model space. And after that, you go to the layout. The layout, just uh, use your center mouse button to zoom. When you zoom in, zoom out, mm -hmm. you see how your infrastructure that you have actually designed looks like. Just do a printout. So it has been sent to the printer now. That we have, this is where now it, the printout comes out. So um, what you see here is the final copy of um, what we have been working on. When you have this printout, you can actually now go and say, no, I need to change this area or I need to change that item. So this is what is satisfying in the job of an engineer because you will be seeing the end product of your design. Working with Google was quite an eye-opener. I actually didn't realize that um, there are a lot of other fine young women who are actually enthusiastic of agricultural engineering. And as a mentor, our job is to 
establish the talent in our students. And Gugu is one student who I have seen is quite talented and will be able to make it in this industry. My thoughts on Obab Tendai, Ogutu Omuntu Otanda, Abasibens Rakim, Futsu Osevens and Woods Kandla, Oslani Pillar of Kulu, Futsu Altan, Dumsibens Rakim. For the mere effect of Utuwa Zilukban, I mean, I'm trying to show Zutu Mutuwa Zu, we wouldn't lose your Yakim, Aguazi, Ukata, Abantu, Yenzela, if I need. Agricultural engineers work in settings that include modern laboratories, outdoors and farm sites. They are often called to manage issues and problems on site and may often work long hours to ensure progress. Masibuya ukuguletu zotlangana no fortunate, ozo mchela gabanzi ngomsebe enziwe business laake. My name is Fortunate Nyamba. I'm the managing director of Luriwe Consulting Agricultural Engineers. We are a consultant firm that focuses on planning, designing, and development of agricultural infrastructures. Hi, my name is Kukule Simbalin Hello, Gugu, how are you? I'm well, thanks, Mr. I'm fine, you can sit. Right, thank you. Um, so I have a couple of questions to ask you regarding agricultural engineering, is that fine? Yes, it's fine with me, you can go ahead. What interested you to get into this industry? My husband is an agricultural engineer. Both of us, we are very passionate about two things, which are to mend future experts and to do these designs the agricultural designs for all those people who have their own lands, even for the small-scale farmers, in any way they need help. They came to us. We, we are there to assist them. What did you study and what qualifications do you have? I did study in banking and finance, financial management, accounting, as well as business management. I hold an honors degree on Bachelor of Banking. So here yeah, I work both as a financial manager and as a managing director. What were the challenges that you faced when starting this business? When starting this business, I can tell you that it was very difficult. We started off at our, place, at our house. We got our own uh, office in our dining room in the corner. That's where we, we first started to have our own office starting our business there. It was difficult for us to find the um, clients out there, but we managed to do so through, like we get only we, one job from another. That's where we started to get our clients. After that, we managed to move from our house. We were renting a 55 square meter office space up there in this building. So from there, we started to employ more staff as we were working. We see that uh, we got a lot of projects because Justin was going out to go and market. We got a lot of clients, but it was a challenge. What are the advantages and disadvantages of running your own business? Advan Let me start with the advantages. The advantages of running your own business is like you are, you are, the, you are, you are, you are, you are your own boss. It's like you can do your own things on your own time, on your own pace. You are able to shape your organization the way you want it. That is the advantages of being your own boss. But the disadvantages is that responsibilities and burden is all over you. Because everything is up to you, especially, you know, it's not a simple task to manage staff of 14. It is a difficult thing because all those people, they are looking at you for their bread and butter, even for their own, for their well-being. So you have to be like, Every, every time, where, wherever where you are, you have to be like handing or like going out to look for something that keep your company sustainable so that you can accommodate all your staff. So it's difficult because you know, in nowadays, competition is high. 
Sometimes you can get the job, sometimes you won't get the job, but you got stuff in your company. What makes your business successful? It's only that uh, we are managing to get some jobs out there, especially now we work with the government. The way we do our job, we show them. If they are impressed, they are able to give us the job. We keep on marketing. So how exactly do you market yourself? We market through um, social media, websites, even references. Thank you, ma'am. I've certainly learned a lot from you today. My thoughts on Umam Nyembaya would see Osebenza was Kandla, Futu Uzmi Salem, Osebenza Yanzima would see Afia Gulis Kundla, Augusto Manje. Another thing that I liked about her is that she's very warm and very loving. Although, as says Kundlenes Pezulu, she didn't let that get into her head and she still is very humble. Ukuguleta Gazgut Kusan is Manga as a spawn. So is this something that you consider as a career? Yes, it's something that I would consider as a career. To do on a day-to-day -day basis? Yes. All right, that's interesting because actually I have a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. the, our MD has actually put a, an offer on the table. He said that um, once you complete your matric, you can actually come and join Team Luriwe uh, to be uh, an intern while you are waiting for your varsity. And in that, you, he has also put an offer of 3,500 per month while you are doing that. And then she also added in to say, if you go to study agricultural engineering, either at UKZN or Limpopo Univen, she's also saying that you can also be part of our team yes. and you can be an engineer in training. Yes. Whilst you're doing that, you also have an allowance of 5,000. Yes. How interesting is that? That is very interesting and I'm very excited. I would like to take upon the offer. Yeah, we really need to have enthusiastic, enthusiastic people like you in our team. Mm -hmm. Before Nislanga na na bantu be 48 hours, I would say would see I didn't consider agricultural engineering as a serious career. Give me bengta bang and show good sabantu abati na nisha sha nisha ba si no bayang mo lang alonge. Kote ngi wana man show good it's a very serious profession and it dungo munto sanga nipi le no munto wa zuksebun zaga nzima wuzi uwa zuba successful bu. Bengtanda Ogbonga for eight hours, gang in a Lurue for his cat sabas treated and amsange, Uguze Bawazung from the Saga Bansing in the Bay Agricultural Engineering, Nibonilega Kulu.